Okay, let's say what we're gonna do, we're going to update a Windows based computer system to Windows 10. And that is the experiment that we'll be doing. Here's the computer system, it is a mini Lenovo desktop system. As you can see, it is a mini computer. And I currently have it plugged up as you can see the Windows XP start logo there. Four USB ports at the back, V, GE, and two USB input at the front. So yeah, no HDMI or anything like that. As I said, this PC is a Windows XP based system. And this computer works great. As you can see here, Lenovo. So yeah, and this worked great. So we are going to upgrade this system to Windows 10. This is the experiment for today. Also this unit, two gigs of RAM. So yeah, we're going to restart this PC and we are going to hook up our Windows 10 boot drive and we are gonna do over this system. So yeah. So here we are, USB General UDIS is our boot drive, so we are going to boot into that, press any key to boot from USB, and here you can see the USB drive plugged in into the front USB port. And here is our Windows 10 logo, yeah. So if you're wondering if you probably have a PC that you're considering to get rid of it or it's useless, you can consider upgrading your old computers and you need to look at the system requirements in terms of the memory, the processor, and most importantly, the graphics card. Because if your computer system cannot handle the graphics of Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 10, you will see a lot of discoloration in your screen. But if you look, you can see how beautiful this looks the only thing is that this camera that i'm using is a bit crappy so yeah i'm seeing it first sight so this is an upgrade from windows xp to windows 10 yeah and this is on a mini desktop computer So here we are. Next, install now. Setting up is starting up. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to fast track this video so that you don't get bored. Alright, I'll be going through this process step by step version of Windows 10 that I'm installing as you can see here I have an option this one is a pre-activated version so I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10 pre-activated I accept the license terms next custom install Windows only advance yeah so this is what we want to do and then we are going to click next instead of formatting our hard drive because we currently have information pictures documents music on this computer and we need these files so we are going to click next and those files that I just mentioned 
are going to be in a folder named Windows All and that folder will be located in local disk. So here we are. So far so good. So we are currently upgrading this system from Windows XP to Windows 10. Yeah. Okay guys. Here we are as you can see the Windows 10 setup screen and we are going to use use express settings so yeah this will take a while so yeah we can see that this experiment was successful and I do believe that this computer will run a hundred percent awesome but at the back of my mind I'm thinking about the drivers this PC being a Windows XP computer I'm just thinking about the drivers and for this mini PC computer layout right but this is something that we should be able to resolve if we run into any driver problem due to the fact that this is a windows xp mini desktop computer designed for windows xp there is no such thing as windows 7 drivers or windows 7 8 and thinking about windows 10 yeah but i did an update from one of these computers before to windows 7 and we didn't experience any problem whatsoever so hopefully this unit is going to work perfectly with windows 10 but tell you what right this is also a unit that i can upgrade the memory from 2 gig to 4 and that is something that can be done so if you have your computers and you want to upgrade it is worth the shot it is worth it yeah and you can subscribe to my channel and if you experiencing any problem while updating you can comment down below or send me an email i'll offer my help to you also you can let me know if you have a computer that you want to upgrade and if you're not sure if it is upgradable you can also let me know i'll give you my advice okay guys as you can see here we are successful in installing the windows 10 on this computer as you can see the windows 10 platform isn't it beautiful and here you can see the PC we also have our old files on the hard drive and let us go to my computer system properties yeah so here we can see the memory 2 gigabytes and we can see the processor speed 1.60 gigahertz right and this is workable yeah in terms of the drivers this is awesome yeah so instead of just throwing away my computer or getting rid of it or leaving windows xp on it here i have windows 10 and all i had to do at a later date is just to upgrade the memory 
so yeah what i want you to do is like this video also also share this video and i'll be doing an updated video on this same computer what i will do i will install the necessary drivers and also i will install different softwares and i will install different programs and we will see what sort of stuff we can run on this so yeah i am lens and remember what you want to do is to subscribe to my youtube channel